All right, get ready. We are gonna do some show shush testing today. Okay. Thanks for watching. Alright, so the first interesting so this about this is is the whoa in the frame. Come on, what am I doing wrong there? There we go. So I have a steel pole set up there, and I'm gonna put a couple shots on that first to make sure that I've got the size and then, which I think is appropriate. A uh well tie-off gunner would definitely know where his his automatic rifle is size. And I've got this set to semi-auto. All right, so what I got here is way of extra issues. This has happened to me before. Again, it's a 14 year old gun. I'm out. I'm out. Whoa, okay. Hey, hey. Three, four, five, six, seven. Clean. Smames. Let me. Uh, Number two. Is Italian. It is the Beretta Model 38A, and it is specifically the 30. My, my smooth cock. All right. Thanks to the Defense Academy. Yeah, I actually have the chance to shoot the original Shush 280 car. I'm really curious about this. And 900 yard. I believe it would have been at that point. So. Uh, all right, let's put a couple rounds through it. And, uh, all right, here we go. Well, this is semis off and slightly malfunction. So we're going to try this a second time. Put the mag in. This time, we're going to put the mag in and just charge the rifle normally. There we go. That fired so fast it felt like whoa. All right. My 12 inch cock is quite coming up into the firing position. I forgot. Well, I'm Ian McCollum and I'm here to this PA where we are taking a look at a one of a kind experimental stir says, uh, 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 stots. Not great. The design is eh, not slails. Hey guys. hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. And we are going to take a look at the KKK-62. This was introduced, as the name implies, in 1960-60. And this was the squawks weapon, uh, 